I literally, Judy, had a woman stick her finger up my ass on a pelvic exam. And it wasn't like, oops, got the wrong hole. It's the Angela and Judy, the Angela and Judy, the Angela and Judy show. Brought to you by Periscope. Good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling good at all. This is my karma. Yeah, what'd you do? I got sick. What'd you do? Here's the drinks. Thank you, Eric, so much. Mr. Eric sponsored Miss Judy and I this morning. Eric Rogers. So, Eric Rogers, this is from you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We got um, the pina coladas again. That's what I got. And then um, the banana nut breads instead of the pumpkin breads. Thank and then you very, very much. we got Judy one as well. So there we go. I love it. It feels so good on my throat. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing, Jamie? Hi, Randy. Because I need that potassium. Yeah, something. Something I need. My voice is hoarse. I'm feeling like poo. It yeah. actually, okay. It actually started like, it started Tuesday evening is when I noticed it. Like my allergy, I felt like it was allergies coming on because we were by all that corn. Mm -hmm. But then, um, and Wednesday I felt it a little bit. And then yesterday, like Wednesday night, is when I was like, oh, no. Yeah, Tiffany passed out in the back. Oh, <laughs> Tiffany's geez. passed out. But she's I know had she, enough. Yeah, she's, she's done. She's over it. She is so over it. And I almost wore my sweater today, too. And I thought, no. And then I thought, oh, shit, I should have. Oh, it's freezing. It's cold. Yesterday. Was it really? Shit. Shit. I, it was cold. Tiffany got sent to jail. Well, you know, it happened. Tiffany was naughty. Yesterday was so slow. Oh my god, great. It was enough to, uh... And I forgot to take my Tylenol this morning, so I'm banking on you having some. I don't have Tylenol, I only have ibuprofen. Oh, I can't take that because of my stomach. Sorry, I don't have any. It's okay. I have some at home. Yeah, well try to push on through. I'm going to push on through. Oh my god. My head hurts too. Yeah, my head's burning. Work should have some first a first aid kit. They I don't do. think we have Tylenol. Over yeah, we can't give the kids Tylenol. We can't give them but yeah. We can only apply pressure with gauze. <laughs> Apply the pressure. When in doubt, apply pressure. Oh, Burn some eucalyptus candles. Yeah. I've got that new um, diffuser. So I'll put some oils in there. She is not. She didn't even look. She didn't even look to not the side. Bitch. She did that. She, oh. People just don't even care anymore. They just go about their way. They don't care. No. This is so good. Oh, God. It feels good on my throat. I better not have strep throat. You don't think I have strep, do you? No idea. What your mother had? My mom had a viral. They said it's fine. I'm sure that's what you have, though. I know, but those kids with the strap. We haven't had anybody in our room with strap. Yeah, we have. I'm not going to say the names. Well, that was a couple weeks ago. I mean, yeah, it was a few weeks ago. Oh, my God. So, I had a dream last night that the front of my head was itching, itching, itching terribly. So, I was itching my head, and then, all of a sudden, I looked in the mirror, and I had lice. And I was like, how, what, I can't, I have to go to work. I have to go to work on Friday. I can't not miss it. So, so I went in and then somehow I called Izzy and Izzy showed up and I'm like, well, she can just work for me. And Izzy's like, yeah, but she was in pigtails. 
It was the weirdest dream ever. It was like I was on a trip. Like I was on an acid trip. It was crazy. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go home. And then everyone got pissed off that I went to work with the lice initially. It was a fever dream. I think so. I don't know. I don't feel like really warm though. That's the thing. Like, I don't feel like I have a fever. I just have like a general feeling of like ick. Just a general ick feeling. Oh my God. So did you hear about the shooting in Ashkosh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the pictures? No. Oh. Why? Well, because the pictures were taken in my mom's parking lot. Seriously? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh my goodness. So now we're like trying to figure out how the hell she's going to sell that condo. I know. I didn't hear the logistics of it. It was very vague. And I just, I haven't been like watching the news or anything. So I don't really know like what happened. But she was questioned. Like everyone was questioned. You know, all this mm. stuff. She's like, Angela, I don't want to get involved in it. I'm like, well, then shut your shades and lock your doors. And don't answer the door if anyone comes. <clears throat> me. <laughs> wow. That's me. Shut your shades and lock your doors. And if the police come and they ask if they you want to step outside, say no, because they can't get you in your own house. <laughs> right? Didn't you know that rule? Didn't you know that rule, Judy? I know that rule, but oh. I don't do anything that I have to worry about. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it could possibly happen. They could take you. No. Yes, they could, Judy. They could take you. Do you like it? It's different. It's like the aftertaste is pineapple strawberry a little bit. I love it. It feels good on my throat. God, I hope it doesn't start raining when we go no. inside. I have my umbrella, but still. I do not. You didn't bring your umbrella? No. Welcome. Oh, hey, hey, Charlie, that's you. I'm like, who is that? You're finally seeing me live. Happy Friday. Thank you so much. So sweet. I'm sick. I'm sick. I am sick. You can hear it in my voice that I'm sick. You're sick, all right. Hmm. Judy seems to be very smart this morning on this Friday morning. No, I just said you're sick, all right. I am. Yeah. My throat. I, th I, I just hope I don't need to go to... Well, I'm going to the doctor on Monday. They're not taking any blood. They're not giving me a pap smear. Here? And they're not sticking their finger up my ass. Um, oh, you don't have no, to. I don't have to because I have a half day. Hey, those are my three cutoff points. No blood, no pap, no ass. Right? And whatever you say. And no boob squish either. I'm not prepared for that. First of all, they don't do that. On a physical? No. But sometimes they on a physical, they try to stick their finger up your ass. I've never had anybody stick their finger up my ass. <laughs> You're not a guy. At a pap smear? You're not a guy. On a pap smear. Well, that's not really your ass, per se. I literally, Judy, the had a woman stick her finger up my ass on a pelvic exam. And it wasn't like, oops, got the wrong hole. I'm not kidding. She was not supposed to do that, was she? Not to my knowledge. Oh, my God. That was a <laughs> sneaky doctor. No. I need to find out who that was and report them. It's a little late. <laughs> I mean, it was the time. Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I thought it was nor. I thought that was just something that they do. How old were you? I mean, this was um, probably in my late twenties, early thirties. Yeah, so like twenty years ago. But still, it's never too late to call a butt poker. <laughs> Wow. Dr. Huxtable. 
God. So many holes. It gets so confusing. Ah. No, but like she had already done the vaginal where like they push on your stomach to feel your uterus while their fingers are up there. It's very uncomfortable. And then she took her hands and then she stuck one finger up my ass. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, like what is happening? That has never happened to me ever. Really? Ever. And she didn't like push on my abdomen when she did it. She just like stuck one finger up and then. And I've never had them push. They felt my stomach in that, but not while they were inside there. Oh, really? I always. Yeah. No. They always, they stick two fingers up there and then they no. push on your abdomen. That I am are never. You, are you confusing it when you were in labor? No, I have never in my life, Judy, had a pap smear or had a, a physical. I mean, because they do that first and then they do the pap smear. But they, uh, I've yes, never they, had it where they don't push down on your stomach a little bit while they're up there. Well, am I going to the right doctor? I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. Are you sure you're not just confused with something else? No. What else would there be? I don't know. They do I... push like that, so you're good there. Yeah. They push like that. Mine, I don't know. I don't even call them. I mean, they push on it. Not... While they're up there? Uh-huh. They're trying to feel your ovaries, Judy. They push up maybe, but... on the uterus to have it come up, and then they push down on your stomach to feel. But maybe they don't need to do that for me. I'm normal. Do you and you have all your innards, right? I have all my innards. Oh god. I, I feel like shit. I feel like total shit. I have absolutely everything. I don't have my tonsils. I have them. I don't have my thyroid. I have that. I have everything. And I have everything. The only thing else I don't have is a meniscus. My innards. Judy's missing her meniscus. Yeah, her meniscus. Okay, yeah. guys, it's Friday. I feel like shit. It's Monday for you guys when you guys are watching this on YouTube. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I have to film. Stay Pop warm because it's supposed to be crappy around here. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad it's going to be cold. Be well, not cold, but it's supposed to be. Oh. Well, it's supposed to be in the 70s. But. I'm going to burn fall rain. fragrances all weekend. Fall this, fall pumpkin, it, apples, because walnuts, you, pecans. It's a mile of music. All mile of music. Thank you so much. Well, I just feel bad, like, you know, if it does rain. Because yeah. Because they put so much time and energy into the stuff. I mean, whatever. I don't go. I don't know either. Okay. Everyone have a gracious weekend. Be kind to others. Always. Don't be bitches. Don't be mean. Always. Even if someone is like a bitch to you, still be nice because it just shows character. Thanks again, Eric. Yes. Thank you so much, Eric. We love you so much. Thank you. If you guys want to donate to the Angela and Judy show for a shout out for a sponsor. Shout out. Sponsor. PayPal. Like cash cab. Yeah, it's like Cash Cab. PayPal.me slash easy for Angela. Link is in the description box on Periscope. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. Judy! Judy! Oh my God. Judy!